Hi guys, um, Dale here, F Mongool on the Subsidy Radio Discord uh, and Facebook handles. Um, I did a little video here testing the Skyrider Monoshoot Station that Dan Beresford and I kind of came up with. Um, this was a test game shooting along my uh, sump wall. I know the original rules were meant for the ash waste, but I just was so excited I had to build something up and we played it the next Thursday, actually like several days after I built it. Um, this was a lot of fun. A um, couple of things that I wanted to make sure that I uh, said beforehand. Um, we were um, doing a shorthand game. Um, I also wanted to test out the Open War, Open Wars cards pack, um, which I've never had before. Um, this is basically just for placement. The game is four separate gangs um, coming over to test, or to actually check out the testing of the new uh, Skyrider Mono Shoot Station uh, that my Underhive uh, trader uh, smuggled into the sump. Um, basically, this game we're going to be firing gangers up onto the wall um, and going through all the rules that Dan so wonderfully came up with. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a take on it. Um, let's see here. Is there anything else on the new? Oh, yeah. I'm trying out a new camera on this as well. Um, I was hoping to do this a little more live time, but of course the camera, you know, didn't have a microphone. So now I have to cut this video a little bit differently. Um, hey, thanks so much, you guys. Um, I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, here's the uh, sump wall. I went three tiles high with this. There's the mo Skyrider Mono Shoot Station, which in the last take of this voiceover, I said three times, too many. First firing up. <laughs> we kind of put it up on a guesstimate just to see what was going on to get the, uh, get the rules going. Um, here's some of the pirates and mummies and things coming on from the other players. Um, and there's Todd Cord and Cords 12. Uh, yeah, outcasts. Uh, yeah, going all the way up here. Figure I'd give you a little, a little run up and down. Yeah, it's up there. It's three feet high. <laughs> so when we got to the second firing shot here, he picked a spot, which, of course, I got a bad camera angle on. And now we're going to set up here. He makes the measurement to where he was going to go. And <laughs> made that one. He made his initiative check on that one. All right. So now we're coming up on the fun one where he picked up. Yes. All right. So the first three or first two worked out really well. Uh, third one. Here we go. Full on Necromunda. Get on up there. Now, I bad the camera here, but needless to say, fails the initiative check because he's just a hive scum. So now we're going to do the old scatter as per the rules, 2d6, and move the arrow dice. Now, of course, he, he moved the arrow dice, which he wasn't supposed to, but <laughs> it's all in good fun. Like I said, first time playing for him, so, uh, but he does, he plays Mordheim, so he kind of understands you know, a lot of the basic rules. A little bad camera work again because I'm trying to hold the model and film at the same time, which I'm not very good at. Um, yeah, here we go. We're going to do it. And that's, yeah, I raised it a little bit. But, yeah, 16 inches. So, boop. Uh, best part about this and the whole reason we all play is the zany Necromunda rules because now it's time for him to take falling damage. And he is rolling. One, two, three. Oh, what's that mean, everybody? Nothing. Survives a 16-inch drop. 
<laughs> completely Necromunda. Now, in, inadvertently, he dies from drowning in the sump later. Um, but needless to say, that's later, and I didn't film that part. So, uh, yeah, Derek, uh, the new player, got a little gun shy after that guy fell as far as he did. <laughs> so he shot over this way. And let's see if I can get over. I can't remember. Nope, missed the dice roll again. He fails the initiative check. Um, no, I decide, oh, yeah, I'll come over here and get some more dice rolls because that'll be good to film. Um, yeah, rolls that two inches off, basically falls down the gantry four inches and gets pinned. Nobody took any falling damage uh, to be reported, uh, very interestingly enough. Uh, they got shot. They got uh, close combat. They got cooed. Uh, they drowned. Uh, none of them took any falling damage, though. Um, okay, so where are we at? Oh, yeah. Now he's closing his eyes and pointing, and then he double, double clutched it to go low. Now, I know that spot right there because I built the wall is 11 inches high <laughs> from the, from the soap. Uh, but anyways... Yeah, here we go. Set. Let's see if I get camera working right over here. Fail. Initiative check. Standard Necromunda. And oh, he's coming back out. And basically what ends up happening is the same thing that happened on the other one. He comes out almost directly on top of him from up. Now, I moved it because I didn't want to go through all of that as well. Um, but yes, as I'm trying to film, of course, you could probably see that I'm raising it up. <laughs> I think the end was 13 inches, but that starting position he was on is 11 inches. So last one, he's going to fire himself up. And he runs into, or no, yeah, he goes all the way up because he said, fuck it. Sits on. Fails the initiative again. Oh, I caught this one. Full fail. And then goes directly into the wall. Um, of which case, I didn't do any damage or anything because there was already too many rules. Um, but everybody had a good time. So, anyways. Um, hope you like this. Um, is... I'm not very good at writing rules and things. I'm really actually not very good at reading rules. Um, these rules uh, were written by, I'm hoping, a pretty good friend from now on. Um, this was a blast, dude. I can't wait to actually play it on an ash waste board and other, other situations. I'm going to be building more of these. Um, we should make some adjustments to it based upon I ran this as a piece of war gear that they were bringing in or um, something along the lines of possibly a fully mounted thing um, that's mounted onto a vehicle which would be <laughs> seriously silly um, anyways uh, your rules set was perfect um, was fantastic we had six tries at it um, I had a brand new player, um, and he's going to be playing Necromunda for the rest of his life, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get disappointed by having to actually read all of the rules and that stuff we're uh, baking up on the fly. But, uh, yeah, this was my way to thank you so much for all the work. I'm going to try all the rest of them that you keep punching out, too, brother. Um, yeah, have a great night. <laughs>